y'all. So we are heading into Frugal's. She has kids and she's like, I thank you, Jesus. Hey y'all, so we are heading into Frugal's. Um, we're looking for meat. Uh, looking hey y'all thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover because the store was a little bit too loud but right now we're just looking at some pork chops these are the assorted pack um which means they just have like different kinds of cuts on the inside i like getting packs like this because they come in like a priority pack and then um you can get like a lot of meat for a really good price. Um, I decided to come on a Friday today because at the end of the week, they set their prices lower for their meat because their meat is usually set out very fresh. Um, I noticed that what they do with the assortment packs is they combine a lot of the other meats that are about to go bad that have not sewed before and uh, just go ahead and put them in one pack so I grabbed them when they're like that now we're just looking at some breakfast steak um, I did end up picking up one of these only one because I had another pack at home in the freezer this was the thin slice because we like making these with our eggs in the morning and then we're just over here looking at some roast. I'm debating on getting a piece of roast. I just don't know what to make with it. I'm not really good with like that. I'm really good at like making steak and chicken, but not necessarily roast. So please leave me some suggestions down below in the comments. Now we're just looking at some filet mignon, y'all. They had so many pieces. This was the, that was the three piece that we're looking at. And this is the two piece. It was just like about a dollar dollars difference or something like that. I didn't catch the price of the other one, but y'all, the prices here were crazy um, this day, and I really loved it. I got a lot of meat for a really good price. Y'all will see at the end, but yeah. Now here we go. We are looking at some New York strip steak. Y'all, I made the best New York strip steak the other night. It was probably like two weeks ago. Mm, I I want some more, y'all. I want some more. Two, the two pack was not enough, so I ended up doing the three pack to get more bang for my buck. They usually never have New York steak and filet mignon on the same exact day, so I really lucked out this day, y'all. If y'all know about good steak, you know about good steak. That's the Porter House cut. Mmm. It does not get any better than that. Then we got some ribeye steak for about like $10. Um, two really big uh, beefy pieces. So that was really good. If you know, you know. You have to go through all the meat to see if you're getting the best quality for the best price. Y'all, hopefully the construction isn't as bad when I'm leaving. When I came up here, there was construction because they were paving the road, and it was all on the other side of my um, of my road. I love shopping here specifically for my meat because the prices are relatively low. However, they charge a 10% surcharge at the register, which does not help, but it's okay. okay. I think we got some pretty good um, pieces. Even the lady at the register was like, yeah, you got a pretty good selection of meat. I'm like, y'all, yeah. you just gotta know when to look, y'all. I hate being stared at. That is like, and not my pet peeve, but like one thing that just really annoys the crap out of me. Like this lady, she has kids, okay? Y'all gonna be a little sideways for a second. She has kids and she's like full on staring at me. 
as I talk to y'all. Like, I understand. I understand it's not the norm, but you don't have to stare. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm gonna tell y'all how much it was first. Um, so it was 60.88, but y'all will see in the, um, y'all will see in the next portion of the video that I got a good selection of things. Um, there was like two things that I really could have missed on getting, but one of the things that I got, I, um, I've been looking for and they did not have in Walmart when I went. And they also did not have it in Sam's that I thought they would. So, um, yeah. And then another thing we ran out of yesterday when I was baking a cake. Which, by the way, yes, I baked a cake. I showed my mom and she said I did a really good job. And it tasted pretty good too. So, but, um, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, we're about to head back home. And then we're going to do the um, portion where I show y'all where I got everything. So, the haul. We're gonna do the haul, okay. Hey y'all, so look at this. This is exactly the traffic that I was in this morning. So if y'all can see, they are paving the road. They are paving the road. So I think it looked like my side is able to go so that's a good sign because I don't have to wait and all that traffic. But on the way here, y'all, I had to wait for a good 10 minutes to even get on this road to head to Frugal's. It was crazy. But I sang a little church song, a little church song because people were driving crazy, y'all. And I just, I could not do it. But Jesus. Go ahead, get over. Thank you. I thank you that they're doing these roads, though. Also, that means I did really good timing because when I went into Frugal's, y'all, I said that I wanted to, I wanted to make sure. Um... When I went into Frugal's, that I wanted to make sure I was in here and I that y'all i spoke too dang soon they done made us they done made us move over to this side it is so bad like i love where i live but dang they do not have to redo the streets this bad our streets are not this bad they need to be redoing the street that's next next to um next to where we're at but that's neither here or there all these cars are moving back I don't want to videotape them, but all these cars are moving back. And then they're telling the cars behind me to move back too. This may not be a short, y'all. This may be a, <laughs> this may end up being a whole video. Y'all, y'all won't be upset. This is fun activity. We've been trying to figure out what this place is. It's called Dogwood uh, Ceramic Supply. I think it's for like when you get your, uh, your, like your pet passes away or something and you get like cremations made for them i think that's what it's for but quinn said that it's like like a toy place but i'm not gonna go in there if it's not a toy place uh, this is so embarrassing y'all i wonder how long it's gonna take me to get home Let's pray not that long. I may just get on TikTok. That's what I said I was going to do at the beginning. Like this morning. I was like, oh, I'm just going to get on TikTok. And there's really nowhere for these cards behind me to go. And I'm really wondering, like, who are they letting go? Because it is like a little four-way stop up there. And luckily they do have like a good amount of workers working. The only thing is they have the road blocked off for a long period. Like I looked on my GPS earlier and it's about a good three blocks that it's blocked off at. 
because while Frugal's is close to my house, it's not that close. And you see all these people who like tried to come out the other way, y'all still are blocked right here. Yeah, also mentioned that it's cruising in the coast as well. So you're gonna see all of these like, like all these cars are causing more traffic as they go slow, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we are back home. There's Milo and there's my laundry that I have to fold, but it's fine. Let me go ahead and show y'all what we got from Frugals. So honest, honestly, we're gonna start with the money makers. I got this filet mignon for $6.92. As y'all can see in the walkthrough portion, I was debating on getting this one or the one that had three in a pack, but I decided on getting the two pack just because it's just me and um mostly like Quinn so I didn't I didn't decide on getting it and it was only like a dollar or something like that difference I'm not really sure but there you go and then moving over to this New York strip steak for $7.64 it's three pieces we're gonna end up dividing one piece we've done this before and it came out so good then got this <clears throat> sorry y'all excuse me I got this porterhouse steak uh for 818 yes it's one piece uh and I, I but it's a big fatty piece and as y'all can see there was some like uh in the walkthrough portion there was thinner pieces than this but I've decided on like the meteor um kind of taste to it but yeah and then we have this sirloin tip steak uh, for 335 that I'm actually gonna make today. That's why it's kind of like thought out a little bit more than the others So we got that um, I then got this ground beef uh, for 484 and Then I got some ribeye steak for 1087 this was the most expensive piece of meat that I picked up at the store, but it was so worth it It's two beefy pieces of ribeye steak and I mean if you go to a if you go to a restaurant you're about to pay like third between 32 to 38 dollars for a really good piece of ribeye so that's really good um we then have this breakfast steak for 242 and remember all these dates on them it is okay because we will be freezing this meat so the meat will last about three more months um, than it normally does if you just leave it out um, at this temperature. So we will be good. Um, I then have this family pack of pork chops. It's a, uh, assorted. So there's like different sizes, different cuts, um, and it was for five seventy seven. dollars So this will last us um, a good while. Like the meat and the meat will last us for a good two months so this will go along with um the sam's haul that we did as well and then i picked up just some random items i have this pure olive oil which i was looking actually for vegetable oil and i'm a little sad that the vegetable oil was as expensive as it was there's no reason why is it seven dollars seven eight dollars crazy so i just went ahead and got the pure olive oil um it's fine i'm just gonna use it when i'm like sauteing and you know like frying uh well cooking and then i got this uh, head of broccoli for today milo one second please i got this head of broccoli just for us for today and then this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, they are these egg roll wrappers. I've been seeing this TikTok of, now he's rolled it to me. I've been seeing this uh, TikTok of spicy buffalo egg rolls and Quinn is obsessed with egg rolls. Um, hence why in the, if you watch the, sam's haul well the sam's haul slash walkthrough video which i completely recommend you watching it will be listed on the screen at the end of the video 
Um, however, we got this box of egg rolls. I enjoyed bringing y'all along for at least a little portion of um, my day. It was quite crazy, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you live in a busy city. Um, I will be doing chores. I got dishes. I'm going to be putting this stuff up um, for the rest of the day, editing this video so that it can go out today. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, y'all. And then I'm just about to watch, like, I really want to watch Hocus Pocus. I've been saying that for a long time. I've been saying that for about a good, like, two weeks. But I really want to watch Hocus Pocus. That is my favorite, like, fall slash Halloween um, movie. So, yeah. But I'm about to play ball with Milo for a little bit. Put up these groceries and... What's good, you too? Been a few hours with a light days. Only been days, but it feel like months. We're gone for you, and we're gonna die once. Life moves fast, and we do what we want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. There you go. There you go. Look at the motorcycle against crew. Like the truck too. Is that a truck or a car? Right there. Truck car. <laughs> Oh, he ain't playing. Oh, they ain't gonna play. They ain't gonna play. Fiber coming through. Fiber coming through. Oh, look at Fiber. They got one of them. Look, Be back, y'all. Oh no, that's a Jaguar. Not, not a Jaguar. Dang, I forgot the name of it. I don't think they're waiting for them over there. Do I look like I care? <laughs> I better wave at me. I came all the way out here with this um, hot weather and all black. Okay, well, I guess that's it for that right now. Every time I don't. No, I don't feel like it. It comes through. I like jackets. I also have a shirt underneath it, so if you're lazy, you Oh, he's big, but they ain't done. What the heck? <laughs> that is the worst part to like try to cut it in front of. Uh oh. They're coming through now. Oh, it's a good call, man. Mustang. I don't know. Mustang. Ooh, I like that Mustang. I'm not going to name all these. So. It's a nice Jeep right now. Oh, they got that Camaro SS. Oh, my goodness. Look at that car. That car. That car. Trip. I can record y'all too. Y'all, y'all got a nice trip.
That look good. Yo, he whining. Hey, he whining. Oh, he whining. Oh, he whining. Hold on. He whining. Hey, let's that heel cap. Yo, he whining. Oh, yeah. That was a must. Alisa and Philip are over there. We decided to go to Jones Park. And there's a good little a bit of people out here. And cars are coming from every which direction. Look at him. Some are some of them are playing music. Some of them aren't. Just passing by. Yeah. And then Quinn pointed out that some people are working out <laughs> instead of <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, like, what you do? What you gonna do? Like, the workout for you got a whole gym to work out, bro. Come yeah, on, come, come watch the cars. Yeah, he coming up, I think. Look at that tundra. He just chilling. Yeah, walking up here, we saw so many trucks, like super duties. Good looking super duties. Look at that firebird. It's coming up. The white one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Quinn does work today, but we decided to come out here. Um, and then later on today, y'all will see me at my older sister's house. Um, we're going to carve pumpkins and have like a little movie night. What you mean? The bars do not work. They're way too high. Mm -hmm. Are you too short for it? Uh, My feet are like way off the ground. It's supposed to be like that. No, I'm, like, I'm talking like I can if I if I jump off my knees are. Oh, like that. Oh, oh. That's a Jeep making that noise, but what? Look at him. Super duty. Diesel. Go ahead, Mustang, do your thing. You just cruising my bag, baby. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't. I'm hurt. <laughs> and of course, I have my beloved icy. Beep beep. Covid. Hellcat. Where? Hellcat. Mustang. Right over there, the blue and red. Hellcat. Oh yeah, I seen it. You should have heard a black one. It, it was whining. I know. I heard it. Oh. That looks like a wagon. Probably is a wagon. Probably is a wagon. Probably is a wagon. G Probably. wagon. Hey, hey. Well, much here. We're probably about to head out in a minute. Um, and then Philip said he's gonna go play his game. I'm gonna go play. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go play crew and um drive my F1 car around.
Yeah, Gwen is gonna get ready for work. Cause Gwen doesn't. Cause Gwen has work. I mean, he has um bills to pay. Oh, People okay. to feed. Child he has to, to go to work and then um. <laughs> he has to get child support over Milo. And then yeah, also because yeah, it's gonna be busy on the interstate because Rianti said it was busy earlier. Mm. So you may want to actually head out, kind of. But we'll basically be waiting for Riante to get back with Nathaniel. Um, I'm probably just gonna chill out in the backyard, watch some TikToks, and do my thing while Phillip's playing the game. I'm sure Elisa will just kind of chill out. Yeah. Because I don't think Riante is coming back until like. Oh, like five, six, and then we'll head out to Talia's to house. I'm, like she says, she wants to carve pumpkins. So I'm guessing we can do that in the daylight. <laughs> but okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, What's up with doing it? Where you come from? Uh, uh, that's that's custom made. I'm not one.